My name is Alex Henry, and I'm the CEO and founder of Blue Vishnu. We believe that your everyone should have access to their avatars, and if you do have access to your avatar, it could change your life. So that's that's one of our core philosophies. So, we're our mission is um, is to basically unlock human potential using an avatar platform. My background is in photography. I, I've been a celebrity portrait photographer for uh, for the first half of my career, and um, and branched off very quickly into dig interactive digital and uh, and sort of this idea of like what would a photograph look like if you could if you weren't bound to a traditional medium if you were on a digital medium uh, suddenly you can start playing with time and so we did that we started doing a lot of like early experiments where we built an entire world. This is back in 2010. We built an entire world in 3D. Everything was fully 3D except for the humans. And that was the first time uh, that we could actually articulate, I could actually articulate wanting to be able to scan people in 3D. I didn't know that that was a thing um, because everything was 3D except for humans, which were you know more traditional like uh, green screen um, cutouts. And so that was the that was the thing that un unlocked it for me. And so that's that's where we really started launching into, you know, finding a, a solution for that creative problem and and building a 3D scanner. And early on in the process, I had a discovery that, you know, these 3D scans are really useful for entertainment. And uh, and the idea of getting yourself scanned and playing yourself as a video game character or. Um, you know, uh, uh, or getting a 3D print. All of these things were, were really neat, but it occurred to me by accident. When I 3D scanned myself one day, as I was, as you do, you know, testing the, the scanner, and I noticed something about myself with this 3D scan. I was basically scanning myself in my underwear, and what I saw, I was very surprised by. This idea, this picture that I had in my head of who I was, was not what I was seeing. It was like, okay, who's that guy? That's like, uh, and it was, it's not the kind of shame that you would feel in front of the bathroom mirror or something, um, or, you know, if you were looking at a bad photograph of yourself, it was really an objectification. And so what it caused me to do is actually really look at, look at my behaviors, because I was like, that's not who I think I am. That's not what I thought I, I, I was. I thought I was healthy. I thought I was like running. I give myself credit for running like three times a day. But when I actually, when I actually held myself down to it, I had this, this image of myself and my own behaviors that really weren't aligned with reality. And that, seeing that really, really knocked it home. So I wound up focusing on what I was doing, focusing on my behaviors, and I wound up losing like 25 pounds in five weeks. And so at the end of that period, I was got up to another 3D scan. I was able to scan myself again. And, uh, and part of the process of the, 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 you know, the avatar building is you can actually put that on a slider and you can see the difference between where I was and where what I had become. So you can just slide and see like this this improvement in my body. And I was like, this is great. I can see improvements, this is really neat. But what if I was able to actually keep going with the slider and visualize what I would look like three months from now if I kept the same behavior up? And we did that. Now, at the time we had, you know, one, one of our artists create a, a, a you know, a, a visualization of what I would look like. But it wound up being the most motivational thing that I've ever experienced. And since then, I've actually kept that same weight off. It's, it's actually changed my own behaviors. And that was, again, that was the first time that we had experienced like, oh my God, this just interacting with your avatar can actually change how you interact in, in the real world. Tezos has asked us to come and participate at this uh, at this activation, the hotel takeover in Cahoots, and we um, have been 3D scanning people all day long. Uh, it's a bit of a milestone for us because we haven't we we uh, scanned over 200 people yesterday and solved and minted their uh, their 3D avatars. Um, so that's a pretty big milestone. You know, there is a, a lot of a lot of hype around NFTs and blockchain, and we're in the middle of a, of a, you know, 
um, arguably a hype cycle. What most people understand for NFTs is speculation, right? I've got some thing, an NFT, and I'm gonna sell it for more money or maybe make some more money. And that's, that's where a lot of the noise is. This process has actually helped demonstrate both academically and in reality that there's some real genuine utility to an NFT. And so where Tezos comes in is it, it fulfills that utility, but it does that in a way that is extremely sustainable. It's low impact on the environment and it's a sustainable ecosystem and it's low, a low barrier to entry, so it's low cost to get in. And, and finally, it's just a great community, a very open community. It's possible that this whole hype cycle could come crashing down. And what's there after the, the waves break on the shore is the real utility. And I think that's, I think that's here, and I think that's something we demonstrated. So you, when you got your 3D scan, you went down, you, you minted that 3D scan. You own that. We can't take it away from you. Um, and sure, you could, you could sell it and, uh, and make a bundle, maybe. But uh, again, that's the speculative stuff that I'm less interested in. The stuff that I'm more interested in is that you're, you're more in control with your own digital assets and uh, and then and that's something that I can't take away from you and so as as a platform that's going to have your that's we want to create great utility for your body your avatar um, it's really important that you actually have control over your own asset because that is you that is real likeness of you